you are scanning a patient with vaginal bleeding and the gestational sac is located in the cervix. Is it a cervical ectopic pregnancy or just a miscarriage in progress? The answer lies in a simple yet powerful clue, the sliding sac sign. The sliding sac sign is a dynamic sonographic maneuver used on transvaginal ultrasound to differentiate cervical ectopic pregnancy from a gestational sac passing through the cervical canal during inevitable or incomplete abortion. It relies on gentle probe pressure to see if the sac moves. In an inevitable abortion, the sac is not implanted, it's merely passing through the cervical canal. When you gently nudge the cervix with the vaginal probe, the sac slides or shifts position within the cervical canal. This movement is called the sliding sac sign. If it's positive, it confirms a miscarriage in progress. In contrast, in cervical ectopic pregnancy, the gestational sac is implanted into the cervical stroma. It remains firmly fixed and does not move with gentle pressure. Additionally, power Doppler will often show peritrophoblastic flow around the sac, confirming active trophoblastic invasion. This table shows how to distinguish the two sonographically. An important difference to be noted is that the cervical canal is open in inevitable abortion. So, a positive sliding sac sign points to inevitable abortion while absence of movement with Doppler flow supports cervical ectopic pregnancy. The maneuver is simple, safe and evidence-based. Studies show the sliding sac sign is highly specific for diagnosing abortion in progress, helping avoid misdiagnosis and unnecessary surgical or methotrexate therapy. Always perform it gently to avoid discomfort or bleeding. In summary, Sliding sac sign positive indicates inevitable abortion. Sliding sac sign negative plus vascular flow indicates cervical ectopic pregnancy. Quick, dynamic and life-saving in the right hands. Remember, sometimes just a gentle nudge tells you everything you need to know. For more insights into early pregnancy ultrasound markers, subscribe to my channel and stay tuned. Also, to learn more about the different signs of pregnancy seen on ultrasound and about ultrasound in obstetrics in general, please read my book Practical Obstetrics and Gynecology 7th edition which has been just released.